Thanks for staying on with us. As promised, this is a live show, so you guys can ask why I can directly all the questions that you have on your mind. The first question, of course, is asking about the moratorium, bank moratorium. Um, mm -hmm. Do you think that as a, you know, not siding with the banks or the people yeah. or with the yeah. MOF or parliament or whatever, what do you guys think yeah. uh, uh, of moratorium? Should it be extended? That's one um, question. Yeah, I think that has great ramifications on our economy and our financial sector. So when it comes to your own personal wealth, the moratorium can help or be advantageous in this particular case, depending on where you stand. So if you have cash flow, your hours are not cut, your, 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 you still have a job, cash flow is still okay, then what you really should be looking at is reducing the, the principal of your, of your loan, especially if you can actually erase it entirely. I think you don't really want to be walking around with huge mortgage debt forever. So it's a really good time to address a lot of money to do it towards that principal. Because whatever you invest in this moratorium period, you know, check with your banks, but you know, all or most of it will go into the principal. So if you do have troubles with cash flow, take this moratorium and, you know, to the largest extent. And at the same time, look at other liquidity options like your EPF, like your PRS, because nothing is more important than putting food on the table, you know, especially with uh, Hai Rai Haji just around the corner. I mm, think mm. this is essentially the real Raya for Malaysians. Right? Yeah, we correct, know? correct. Yeah. So I think it really depends on the person. You know, if you have cash flow, you know, pay it down. If you do not, if you had, if you do have cash flow issues, you know, then then take the moratorium, enjoy it. Okay, um, one question is on uh, small business owners. Uh, this mm. person is asking uh, whether or not uh, it is wise to take business loans um, irrespective of the moratorium being extended or not. So, it's just now more of an individual. This, mm. this question is more of towards small businesses SMEs. and medium-sized businesses. Yeah, so SMEs, you know, you can, you can look at it as, as a very, very close to having the same needs of an individual, right? Do you have cash flow coming in? Are you still being able to uh, service your existing debts? and also as well as your current business operations. If all those things are, are good, then of course that, you know, that, that loan is there for you and that moratorium is there for you. But otherwise, I would look at you know, not trying to be an SME expert here, but I think you know, servicing your current loans and uh, renegotiating with the bank so you don't go into technical default is really important. For example, in the fintech space with peer-to-peer -peer lending, for example, that is SMEs as well, right? Mm -hmm. They are actively... More S than M. M correct, yeah. More, 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 more small than medium, yeah. correct. So it, they, they are negotiating with the, with the, um, I guess with investors, the investors the bank, yes. to, to look at extending those loans. As, and, and, and for me as well, as an investor in P2P loans, you know, I don't want a small business going, going down. I, I, I'm very happy to extend. So I think if, if you're an SME, hang in there. It's really important, you know, the very important segment of our economy and you know, try and consolidate your loans or pay it off if you can. If, if not, it's a very, very difficult position. All right. Next question is on the story of uh, the Malaysian economy uh, getting back in shape. Mm. Uh, this person is asking, has the uh, economic cycle returned back to pre-COVID levels? Um, mm. If not, uh, how far are we off from the pre-COVID levels? Yeah, so I don't think we are past the pre-COVID levels. There is uh, unemployment is, is still yet to reverse. Those you know, unemployment rates are still high. Mm. We are hearing um, layoffs in, in different sectors like travel and hospitality, and that will have a ripple effect across. Um, I think a, kind of a silver lining here is that um, oil prices have, have recovered, which is important for our balance. And also China has recovered. So that means a strong trading partner of ours is going to require goods and services from us again. So we hope the export can continue. And then once travel opens up again, that will help our economy with tourism, taxes and, and, and revenues. And of course, you know, inflows from Singapore and all that, that, that mobility really needs to be there. So I think I, think I, I don't have any specific stats about where we, um, how yeah. far we are yet, but yeah. we are definitely not back to where we, we used to. All right, final question, at least from the social media side, is mm. on the uh, issue of exporting and importing goods and services. Mm. Um, how are we managing that right now? Is it safe for entrepreneurs in Malaysia to think about exporting our goods and services overseas right now? Mm. I think it depends on which markets you are ultimately addressing. If you are 
a micro entrepreneur and you're looking at uh, supply chains and that kind of thing and you haven't started those supply chains I would say start things virtually get some e-commerce going domestically because e-commerce has done amazingly well I think that's one thing that the MCO has taught us mm. taught us is that uh, digitization is important so before maybe exporting and setting up supply chains and agreements with you know in different markets that you might not be very very familiar with mm. start local start start small and then try not to take too much risk before expanding overseas all right that's uh that's some how much i can actually share from social media right now but uh, there's still a lot of questions i want to ask uh, when i can uh, but for now we have to close our conversation i just want to ask you a few things personally on my end um, the Malaysian economy is in a very different shape. We've mm. seen some very drastic numbers being proj projected by IMF mm. and also World Bank. Mm. Um, we're looking at anywhere between negative 4 or 5% even mm. to a positive 0 05 uh, I think that's so the that's, best case scenario. That's yeah. the best case scenario by yeah. Benegara. At least Benegara gave negative 2 to 0 0.5. Everything else is just the range is yeah. far lower than that. Yeah. How, what does that mean to people like us mm. on the street you know, watching this kind of show, what does that mean to us? Yeah, I think that means that you need to be very cautious with your money. I think cash flow is very important, debts are very important. Firstly, if you have been affected by the MCO in a meaningful way, maybe you, you, your small business has closed down, maybe you're, you have lost your job, I think really it's about scaling back your lifestyle, consolidating before looking for new opportunities. They will be there when the market opens. If you are very lucky, very privilege to be in a position where everything is okay, then I think, you know, a couple of things you can do is, is actually strengthen your financial position by actually investing it wisely because you maybe have saved some money in this MCO period. If you have any idle cash, you know, put it aside and have that be enhanced, you know, don't just let it lie there. And if you have any more left over, I think, you know, look around, there's a lot of opportunities to give to great charities, people who are going through difficulty. So I think this is a very good time to also um, be, you know, generous. Be, a good, be generous, yeah. Yeah, so, that's the only thing right now. Yeah. Okay, um, that's it from us for this evening. We're going to continue on with these kind of, you know, uh, live shows where we can uh, ask directly my, to my guest uh, some of your pertinent questions. Um, but for now, that's it. Uh, until next time, if you've missed any part of this show, just head on to astrawan.com, look for Notepad over there. Um, you can also watch these shows on your mobile devices. Just download the Astrawan app wherever you get the application. Until next time, thanks very much for watching and goodbye. Thank mm -hmm. you.